Space. It has been a fascination to humans ever since the beginning of astronomy. Like our ancestors, leaving relics of astronomy in their temples, space has temples of its own. Temple One. Temple One, a comet out of this world. It has been a target for analysis to understand how our solar system and even the universe was formed. And who would be doing the analyzing? An American coalition of the University of Maryland, California Institute of Technology's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and Ball Aerospace and Technology Corp. They plan to make an impact on the world by launching the Deep Impact Mission. The Deep Impact spacecraft will travel to Temple 1 and it will gather results on the composition of the comet and the craters on it. The spacecraft will be able to do all of this with some of its devices that it is bringing along. The spacecraft contains a high and low resolution instrument that will allow taking different kinds of images of the comet. The spacecraft is also equipped with the impactor. The impactor will be the device that will hit the comet at a high speed and it will be able to take pictures while it is making its way to the comet. The impactor sensors is what makes the trajectory that the impactor will follow. Another piece that makes up the spacecraft is a flyby spacecraft. This is what houses a high gain antenna that sends information back to Earth. It also holds a large solar array that powers up all the devices on the spacecraft. The Deep Impact team plan to launch the spacecraft at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida on January 12, 2005 on the rocket Delta II. The path is a direct one. The spacecraft will be a comet chaser. It's planned to meet Temple 1 on July 4, 2005. Once it is at the comet, it will take pictures of it using its MRI and HRI imaging to relay back to Earth. Then. It will release its battery-powered impactor to crash onto the comet, exposing the internal composition and structure of Temple 1. It does this without any damage. Our design team added shields to the main spacecraft to protect it from comet's dust. Data that was gathered from Deep Impact shows that the comet is made up of a fine powder. This could be seen when the impactor slammed onto the comet, releasing a cloud of dust. Impact craters can be seen throughout the comet. It also detected an increase of carbon containing materials when analyzing the comet's ejection plume. This indicates that the comets contain a substantial amount of organic material and may have brought that material to Earth at one point. The comet's interior is well shielded from solar heating. This means that the ice and other materials deep inside the comet's nucleus may be unchanging from the earlier days of the solar system. The Deep Impact team also discovered water ice on the comet. This info will contribute and reform theories on the creation of the universe. And that was the end of the Deep Impact mission. A successful mission by far. But the Deep Impact spacecraft journey was just beginning.